and welcome back to my channel if it was your first time joining me thanks for clicking on that video yeah. <laughs> and thank you to all my new subscribers i'm so glad to have you in my family okay so today we are going to be doing the makeup challenge of the week and this week's makeup channel is we are going to be recreating the Anne nook i think that's how you say her name it's Anne nook yeah um there was she did this blue amazing smoky eye that i was like so obsessed with and i've been dreaming of this blue smoky eye ever since i watched her video so for this challenge today i'm going to be recreating that look if you want to see the look um i will leave a link in the description box down below I don't think I'm gonna do a um, outro today guys so I don't think I'm gonna see you after the video but do have a lot and lots of fun don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like don't forget to share and thank you let's get started okay so first thing is first so first thing is first um, I'm going to be using um, the only blue eyeshadow that I have and this one is in the um, in the Beauty Treats palette I'm sure you guys have seen me using it so what I'm going to do um, is um, as you can see I've already done my eyebrow but what I've done is that I've just concealed the top of my brow because what I'm actually going to do now is that I'm just going to take a little bit of setting powder um, like ever so slightly and I'm just gonna set so I'm just setting the top of my eye um, close to my brow in my inner crease um, so I'm setting the parts where I want the least amount of pigmentation because I'm not gonna set my eyelid so yeah that's what I'm doing just dabbing let me just bring you in a little bit, a little bit, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit closer. All right. just in the outer corner because it's drying down and I'm gonna okay. so I'm gonna now add um, the black over that concealer just so that it gets um, a lot more pigmentation okay, there we go now we're talking There we go. There we go.
and out here. But I have to do that because the Maybelline one that I love so much is a bit too light. So I mix it with the um, Wet n Wild filter finish and then it gives me the bomb results. So now I'm just going to spritz my face before adding some... I'm going to spritz my face.
two that I mix together foundation makes me look really ashy. Don't say it in the comments, I already know guys. I know that I didn't mix it properly. I needed more yellow in my foundation because I did mix together. But anyway, it is what it is. That's number one. 